Welcome everybody to another short bus video. Today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on the ejector upgrade for the Industrial Craft 2 mod. I'm hesitant to really call this a tutorial. This is going to be more of an overview just simply because it's pretty simple stuff and it's not going to take long to go over it. So let's go ahead and get this started. Alright everybody, welcome back to my Industrial Craft test world here. Uh, this should be a relatively quick tutorial slash uh, overview, as I called it, uh, for the ejector upgrade, um, because it's relatively simple. You've got two uh, ejectors. You've got a regular item ejector, and you've got, well, the fluid ejector, which injects the fluids. But the fluid really, at this point, is kind of useless. I think you might be able to use it in the canning, uh, the canning machine, and you can use it in the industrial craft pump, but the industrial craft pump uh, kind of sucks uh, and not in a good way. Build craft pump you can put uh, over infinite block and get infinite water whereas in the industrial craft you put it over a block of water and it eats the source block and moves on so you're not going to get much out of it. So uh, with that uh, here's a real basic setup that you can run. We've got the geothermal uh, give us some power here, the macerator and the ore washer as well as the uh, is a chest right there. So, in its basic form here, you take you can take this, and the way the mechanics on this work, the way Minecraft checks its mechanics, is each side of a block uh, in the world is assigned an integer. Um, if I'm not mistaken, top is zero, bottom is one, left is three, right is four, front f uh, five, and the back six. Or I, I messed that one up. Zero through five. There's six sides of the block. Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, and it checks those. So the first side with an open inventory that can accept the item will take the item. So if I were to surround this block with ore washers, uh, the only one that would accept it would be the top because that checks first at uh, the zero side. All right. So it, once you figure out the sides, you can you can line it out, and I'll show you here in a minute. So you can see it dumped in the ore there, and then poof, here we go. Uh, the problem with this setup, and like I said, well, I'll show you a little bit more of an advanced setup here in just a minute. Um, but the problem with this is if I were to take, you know, I want to process some wool and, and get some string here. Uh, when this processes, it's got nowhere to go. Now, I could throw a chest down here, but assuming that... Um, it doesn't check the left side before it checks the right, which I believe it does. I believe it checks left before it checks right. Um, as a matter of fact, I know it does. So all the ore after being macerated would go into the chest as well. It would never hit the ore washer. So technically that sounds good, but that's not going to really work. Um, this is just in this basic form. I'll show you good setup, seeing how it just kind of stays in here. And, and uh, so now you've got to pull this out before you can process anything else. The other notable thing that you can do with this is, as you can see, it dumped everything here into uh, the chest, but if you're familiar with hoppers and their mechanics, uh, you know that if I were to stick a hopper underneath this, with, without an ejector upgrade, everything would just dump right into the hopper. Okay, But the point of the ejector upgrade is to assume that you really don't have any space. But Say you do and you just want to keep your machines close, you can take a hopper and face it towards the chest, so everything runs into the chest. Now, under normal circumstances, the ore washer won't deposit any items into the hopper. Pull out the ejector upgrade here. Uh, once that processes, that should just stay right in the machine. Yeah, see, because it can't go back into the macerator, and it can't go into the hopper. But you take the ejector upgrade, throw it in there, and now it can go into the hopper, and you can do whatever sorting mechanics you want to do, or just something similar like this, all right? And then it dumps it into the chest for you. So uh, that's a neat little trick that you can do if you're a big hopper fan. But if you can run hoppers, you can probably run buildcraft piping, and for most cases, buildcraft piping is uh, far superior to the hoppers. Um, all right, so with that said, let's move over here to my more advanced explanation. All right, everybody, here's the advanced model, I suppose. Um, first, let me let me show you how this is set up. Now, remember, we've got uh, we've got the macerator here, ore washer, 
thermal centrifuge and a furnace, electric furnace, and then of course the chest around it. Now these three items, the furnace, macerator, and ore washer, are low voltage um, machines, whereas on thermal centrifuge is medium uh, voltage. And notice I've got them all hooked up to, uh, this is medium voltage. Um, so how I did that, there is another upgrade, yes, yet another upgrade, and it's called the transformer upgrade. All right, and let's see if we can figure out, this is how you craft it here. Electronic circuit, uh, medium volt transformer, a couple gold insulated cables, and some glass. And that will give you the transformer upgrade. So I took that, and what that does is that allows you to, uh, it moves you up one tier level on the energy scale. So which means instead of low voltage, I'm able to accept medium voltage. So therefore, I can have these all hooked up. Uh, originally, when I was designing this, I had... Uh, this going way up in the air and coming over and tapping the top but uh, for power but then the problem comes in was I wasn't able to put supply power to the ore washer because otherwise the two lines would have touched each other uh, from the medium voltage to the low voltage and we would have had problems there so really the only way to do this is if you upgrade the power to uh, tier level uh, up a tier level in these and run medium voltage to all of it and I was going to say, why is that running? So, uh, this is about the only way this setup is going to work. I played with this a bit and tried to work it elsewhere, but this is about it. And, and with the other machines that Industrial Craft has, um, you're not going to probably use the ejector in too many cases. And after doing this, I may, I don't have the thermal centrifuge yet in my uh, Let's Play world, so... Uh, but when I add that, I may do this setup and run the ejector upgrade. It does seem to be relatively efficient. Then I'll probably run piping on the sides to uh, sort everything out. But the way this works is obviously we got the mass rater here. We'll get this going. The reason why that's working over there is because I had to heat it up just for our benefit here. I had to heat this up and uh, so it didn't take forever when we get through this process. So. Uh, so you can see the macerator is done. It finished. It dumped the ore down here. All right, so we got that. But it took. Where'd it go? That's right. That's all that comes out of here. So uh, the ore washer here finished one of the ores. So now it takes it and it moves it over here. And it takes what it couldn't process and throws it in the chest. So you can see that go up while we're in there. So now that one's done. So it, the crushed ore came over into here. And then the way this works is, obviously this doesn't process just one pure thing that you can throw in the furnace. The only thing that can go in the furnace is the gold dust. But everything else comes out here, which is for the gold we get the tiny uh, pile of silver dust. So up here out of the furnace, it's stumping out all the gold that it, from the gold dust it's processing. So there's that, and it dumps it out there. And that's really... the the only way that this is going to work it like I said the way that Minecraft checks its blocks is very specific so in order to run this setup it has to be done in this way um, but it is efficient so like I said you can come in here and bam throw in a, an entire block here and you can go AFK for a while or just go do your thing and and it's going to work just fine you know you could double up these chests if you want or like I said I'll probably do it eventually and and run uh uh, build craft piping to it. Let's take this out of here. So that way you can see it's working in its full potential. See, so there it goes. It dumps in there, just that, and then the rest of it just dumps into here. And then really you could probably go even a little step further um, and I don't know, maybe underneath or something, put in an auto crafting. Uh, chest or something. I don't know. I, that'd probably be a little too much. Um, the whole purpose is that, of this is to save on space. But um, yeah, I was going to say that way you can craft it. will automatically craft the uh, tiny piles of gold dust, but not a big deal. So one last thing with this setup. Uh, like I mentioned over there uh, with that, if you put in something that's not ore, uh, it's going to hose things up. But with this setup, you can actually uh, run it and not worry about it. You could take a stone. This is actually kind of funny. I don't know why you do this, but you could take stone and when you macerate it's going to turn into cobblestone. Well, it's going to shoot it over here into the furnace and 
it, it'll turn it back into stone. So uh, that's that part of it's really kind of uh, silly. You wouldn't do that under normal circumstances. But when you macerate cobblestone, you can take cobblestone and it's going to know well enough. It's not going to check the chest first because it checks the left side first. Like I said, top, bottom, left, right, front, and back. I'm pretty sure the only one I'm not positive about is the front to back, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I, I do a little bit of modding myself, and I'm pretty sure that's the way it lays out. So, and then you can see that uh, cobblestone uh, turned into sand, and then the sand came over into glass. And there's our stone that we stuck in there in the first place. That was just a waste of energy. Um, the other thing is, is we go back to our wool example, throw the wool in there, and uh, let's take out the overclocker now. We'll put it back in. Running low on power here. Um, is now it'll take this and dump it out. Since wool can't go into the furnace, it dumps the wool over into here. So with this setup, it, you could put in pretty much whatever you want, and it's going to know it's going to go into the correct spot. If it can be uh, smelted, it's going to go into the furnace. If it can't, it's going to go into the chest. Or if it's ore, then it's going to run this process. But the ore can be smelted, but since it checks the bottom first, it's going to go there before it hits the furnace. So anyways, that's, uh, that's going to be it for this little tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed this, and if you did, please go ahead and hit the like button there. It helps me uh, get a little visible on YouTube. Uh, every like helps. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I try to produce some decent videos for you guys, not just tutorials, but I got a decent little Let's Play world and that's moving along pretty good right now. And if you are subscribed, uh, thank you, and I hope you guys are enjoying what you uh, are watching so far. And if there's anything else that you guys have questions on or would like to see, just let me know, and I'll do what I can to uh, do this tutorial. A uh, thing that made me think about doing this ejector tutorial was a comment in the ore washing tutorial I have uh, asking about the ejectors. And I figured, well, that's a relatively simple process. So I think we're only about 10 minutes into this video now, so it'll only take me a couple minutes to edit it, and I'll throw it up on the YouTube. So uh, let me know if you've got questions, it's something I can do and know about, then I'm going to do what I can to help you out. Well, until next time, go ahead and uh, take it slow. See you.